to safety precautions. Boom, boom, boom. Shh. Play now. The final retail version has finally come out. Thank you for joining us. This is going to be a promotional video for Masters of Orion, which just released. I got together with them, Wargaming and OPG, put this together because 4X space games are my favorite space games and my favorite genre. Now, I, I've tried to get Joe into it, but these are, this ain't your Call of Duty, okay? It's a different kind of player, it's a different kind of game. Just check out the retail version, see if we can have some fun with it, and see if it's something that you might want to uh, check out. Um, we'll see. The standard edition is going to have 10 races in it. You can also create your own race, which is what I normally like to do. So, let's just start here, single player. Joe, who is that? Who is that talking right now? Out of a fight if they believe they have Does it sound familiar to you? The Sky Lord rules over Yeah, Michael Dorn. Good job, War. Fanaticism. So, uh the God of Sky created the Alkari to get Michael, can I have a second? Um and so they got a lot of voice actors. They got uh Michael Dorn, uh they even got Mark Hamill is in here. But we'll, we'll wait. Yeah, he's in here. There's it's, it's a lot of voice acting. All right. Is that him? So let's pick. No. <laughs> well, actually, yes. <laughs> but he doesn't talk here. This is Mark Hamill, though, I think. All right. So here we go. Now, Joe initially said he wants to be a robot. A yeah, but I don't like this. Fantastic. 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 No, they, Joe, they talk really badass, but you can't hear. Booby cats. Fitting. Why not robot they cats? Let's just go to oh. customize. <laughs> <laughs> fucking robot cats. Robot cats. Their path is regarded. Ooh, shaking his body. That's a truffle shuffle, There's Joe. Territorials around the hag, an elder who speaks for nature. The hag. It They're dominated the by their mother. <laughs> the space. Their okay, mom. Any means necessary. Moving in. I bet you they have cool looking fucking ships because their character model is pretty damn cool. Next! <laughs> Alright, the yeah, humans are kind of boring. Whoa! Deep in the caves of we can be the, the fucking Clindathu! Oh, be for oh man! Gross. Well, well, I'm gonna do my own custom game in the future. Like spiders! These are the motherfuckers the that's been capturing rednecks on Earth. A sprawling <laughs> network of Cylon communities comprise the quantum. They have a pretty nasty Devoted fetish. To the unraveling of the mysteries of They're the all universe. supposed to be super smart, but they got a secret. Like the they like to buff <laughs> rednecks. The knowledge of the whole. The Whoa, space Those are the ones from Futurama! The cold-blooded sock concern is for... They follow the awesome. father. So the bear follow the mother, the lizards follow the father. Whoa, rocks! Their unique I do want to see what their spaceships from the planet Chrysalon. Yeah, that's the one They're thing they needed is to show us the and abysmally low the birth rates. Because I don't want shitty ships. Show. So tell me, red, black, white, They're... militarist, strategist, <laughs> beams. I told them how much I like beams. Morale. You said is beams. No, I, I don't like beams. <laughs> I like beams. They misheard you. And they're like, ah! <laughs> Come on, that's the angry army race. Okay. They totally that's made that for plan us. B. Probably did it. I've just been... custom race. Okay, let's do custom race. I like the fact that you can make your own race. Fire everything. Fire everything. <laughs> oh shit, is a fucking space what is eel. That? If we get a 256 attack rating. 137 defense rating. It's a It's see, a this, space penis. This is so cool. You're gonna die. I have 40 you know, attack strength, but pretty pretty hefty defense rating. Gonna go for the squid and space I don't even want to look at it. I'm gonna go. Well, obviously I can't handle that. You can't handle space penis. You <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> I seen you take on bigger. Ew! <laughs> you seen it? Oh, where's he going? He's running. He's running. <laughs> Coward. Coward. Fight us! Oh shit! Please to meet you. This is the control. God damn it. Side. Did you hover towards us? I think I'm certain we have much to learn from each other. We do have much to learn. Somebody told me that you butt f rednecks. Thanks. <laughs> For science. Joey doesn't seem to be listening to me. For science. <laughs> Was it for science? I think so. Ex excuse me, sir. 
I think he's done dogging you. Blink one for yes and two for no. Do you like butt f rednecks? He does. That's a yes! That's a yes! <laughs> this is GNN. Damn! Damn, son! We haven't even got shit! We're over there chasing a the fucking squid! We have one fucking planet! You chase this motherfucker has three planets already. You gotta be on your game. See, this is what I was expecting. Attack! That's fine. All right, here we go, chat. My victory chance is bad. It's not impossible. Take command! But it's bad. It's gonna get worse when you take command. Look at our badass fleet. Okay, this is a way better game. Shit. Oh my god, he's crazy looking. Oh, shit! It's the Kraken! This is so cool! Oh, fuck. Keep him at long range. We gotta keep him at long range. Oh. All angry army members to battle stations! Battle stations! I repeat, battle stations! Here we go. What are you doing? They're you no get fools. in the fucking fight. Do these scouts have no goddamn weapons? We missed! Damn! Oh my god, he's... Uh, retreat! He's throwing balls at us! Missing. Oh my god, this is so scary! It's cool! This is exactly what I want from a space sim! Ah! Oh my god! Ah, shit! It's over. No, we got him. Oh, he hit us with his tentacles! Oh my god! That's exactly man. what I asked from it's Sword over. of the Stars 2! I've hit, always wanted dead. this weird One more shit. Hit, you're dead. No, what well, we got out of here. Get out of there! You're dead! We we got two. <laughs> you need to bring a big ass fleet. This is so cool. The hentai oh, well, destroyed our fleet. That's exactly what I expected. Oh, this yeah. looks really cool, guys. Basically, you have to, you know, don't do close. Do your parameters you very like correct. <laughs> Tentacle attack. <laughs> really, really cool. Shit, and everybody is ready to fight, man. There are multiple space monsters. Yeah. I know there's crystalline entities, there's eels, there's squids, and that's not even counting the pirates and the other factions. So I, I had a lot of fun with Masters of Orion when when we real when we set the correct parameters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, that just goes to show you that you could customize your experience in vast ways. You could pick the cluster galaxy, which is literally going to lock you off from everybody else and just give people time to turtle and to build up and it's going to take you five to ten hours before you meet other races and and start you know interacting but this I one was really awesome piece of the hive. Ah! we are the clacon we are many kill it kill it with fire I do not want to be your friend and you done fucked up by showing up next to my empire I declare war the only good bug is a dead bug. I'm so thankful that these guys are right next to me. We're going to jump right into action and destroy the fucking arachnids. Where is Clindathu? Tell me! Threatening fleet detected. Pirate raiders are coming in, you bastards. How do I get to your place? I think we need to come through Alozar. Ala Al Alozar, and then down to Ta Tau Signi. But we gotta worry about this pirate flea because I think he has hostile intentions. Oh no, those are my scouts. <laughs> See, I want to be able to rename fleets. So this is just Fleet A, and this is what fucking Fleet A. This is making any fucking sense. You got Fleet A and Fleet A. Like that needed to be in a retail release. You, you shitting me? Now, of course, I could have recognized it by the color, but... Oh, shit! It's... They are fucking... We found the fucking bugs. They're barren planets. All of these. Just like Starship Troopers. Remember when they fought them on these barren planets? Nuke them from orbit is the only way. Okay, our scouts are doing a good job. This, to... this appears to be... A destroyer. Pfft, a piece of shit. That's all you got? 
What is this on? I should have put this on extreme. Where are your main fleets? We're going to have another Tom Cruiser in one turn. We can grab a colony ship after that. I'm going to try to buy the colony ship. We cannot tolerate your perturbation to the hive. Are you so weak that you nest inside our territory? Remove yourself! Your time will come. Do not colonize near them, they say. Except... <sighs> Decline! Egotism is just a symptom. Ego is the disease. How dare you, disgusting bug! I shall crush you! Tensions are tense. You've rejected their embassy. You've rejected their do not colonize near me deal. Goodbye. We cannot tolerate your perturbation to the hive. More insolence? Remove your fleets from our territories. No! That's it. They didn't like me putting this fleet here. We should try to build a relationship with them? No, f them. I wonder how powerful military outposts are. I don't think this current fleet can handle it, but I'm gonna start bulking up that fleet. Four turns till this Tom Cruiser gets over here. It's weird that it's using the troop transport uh, ship model. But I've got enough for, I think, an invasion. This is a 78. I don't know how how powerful these are. Let's see, 78, 21. Should be able to win. Let's wait for this guy at least, and then start our war. Sometimes this one thinks you had better leave the crag alone by ceasing to be. We would take this from you and keep away, or we would take your all. Choose. You are going to treat me in this way? Do you know my power? I decline. You should not disgruntle the crag. The crag will end you only a fool steps willingly into the cauldron of war. God, fuck you, dude. I'll this show you. Is GNN. A new development by McClaw Scientists today has electrified the galactic scientific community. Applications in technology could be huge. They better not try to update my software again. Last time that was a very painful process. For so we got planetary research, research. The combine has been successfully upgraded. Astro engineering was the battleship. That's what he was saying. Okay. Um, shit, I gotta go all the way back and get super alloys, then come here. I didn't know you need everything before. What the fuck? This one wanted no part of your struggles, but if you can't let the crack be. Then you will be no more. How dare you? I was just about to start a war with my neighbor. Now I'm going to be in a war on both sides? Okay. Angry army, I need counsel. Should we let the bugs live, swing our forces around, and crush the freaking Siligoids or whatever the fuck they are? The crag, crush the crag. Or should we start a war on on two fronts how dare him he, that would mean that he must at least have an incoming war fleet the mechlar are now at wars the sil what the fuck two destroyers you're blockading my gem planet all right that's it we're swinging around How do I combine these two fucking fleets? It's annoying. 
I'm gonna build a military outpost here. I hate how my biggest best fleet has this stupid image of a fucking troop transport. Okay. You wanna go to war? We'll go to war, bitch. I don't know much about your territory or where the, where the hell you even are. He's, he's bringing troop transports. Destroyer and frigate, he must be located there. Oh shit, the cats are at war with the silicoids as well. We might take advantage of this situation. Your empire is near default. What the fuck? What did any of you tell me? Our fleets are crippling our economy and our command points are crippling our... Oh, God damn it! We're going into... Stop the bleeding mode. Nine. Negative nine. I'm gonna swing around here and fight. They must have sensed our crippling dead and thought that they could take advantage. Because now they're backing off. Better not start a war on two fronts. You will adapt to serve us. God! You will be no more. <laughs> the second I fly my fleet all the way across the galaxy, she gets fucking cocky. No more! You cowards! You are fucking cowards, you rock pieces of shit! Why do I bother offering proposals when it's so much simpler to take what I want? Listen, you have a bad fucking attitude right now, but you know what? You're... Potentially my only friend, so I will accept your offer and ignore your tone. Do it again, and I'll stab you in the face with a soldering iron. A wise choice, kitten. You fucking... ATTACK! Yeah, you done fucked up now, didn't you? Ha ha ha! Rock bitches! Angry army assembled! Already taking damage, that base is going up. Yeah, they are fucked now! I can see all you little rocks running around, cowering in there. Help me, help me! You gonna feel it? Oh, you wanna attack me? What do you got? What do you got? 49?! Oh shit! Nah, -uh. nah, I got it. I got it, chat. I got it. Ain't no. Let's do this. Take command. They got a lot of frigates and destroyers, but we've got our Sean Beans and the Gozer class and the cruisers. We just need to get the fucking troop transports. They're they're gonna fucking suicide and try to grab our troop transports in the back. Let's do this. The first real space battle. Get these troop transports out of here. Can we retreat with these? Match speeds, retreat. I don't want to retreat with the whole fleet. I just want to retreat with those. Bring these guys forward. Angry Armada fire! Anti-missiles! Sean Beam cruisers! Sean Beam. Do not let them hold the line! Target. Target that bastard. Target this bastard! They're coming around! Stop missing, please. Shit, what are you doing? Retreat. Okay, these two, I think, are retreating now. Yes, good. They're gone. But what is wrong with these guys, dude? 
they're just kind of hanging out. I don't understand that. Why aren't they moving around all nicely like all these other guys? Shit, our beam cruiser is hurt like a motherfucker. We're not concentrating our fire. Oh no. Gotta get our front arcs up in here. There we go. There we go. That's what they're doing. They're getting around us. Hang in there, Sean Beam! Do not die! Now we got him on the run. We gotta get this Gozer Cruiser. Stop missing, damn it. Hang in there. Can't tell his hole. I could tell visually it's fucked, but his shields went back up apparently. Alright, we're doing good. We've got this. See, what the fuck? He's not reacting. He only has his beams in the front arc. So he's not firing. Sean Beam! You're all fired! Execute all of those people! Attack the planet. A missile base? Auto-resolve. Victory. Attack the colony. Population of four. We have... Eight marines. Deploy all the marines. They have eight structures, four. Let's see how this works. So we deploy all marines. All Marines! Should we drop explosive bombs? If we drop the bombs, then we risk destroying the structures. And we might need structures because we're hemorrhaging. No! I don't think we need structures because we're already hemorrhaging credits. So I'm going to drop a few bombs. No structures were lost, but one enemy was killed. That was the right thing to do. Deploy all Marines! Deploy! Invade! The Mechlar has crushed the Siloid resistance. Oh, there was no animation or anything like that. It just happened way too fast. Fuck. I like it when there's a visual representation. Alright, threatening fleet detected. So, we took their planet and now we are generating lots and lots of money. And now you are my slaves. Ha 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 ha. I bet you this is their home system. I'm coming. Oh shit, that was a planetary battle. Oh fuck! Oh shit! We got the bugs invading! They've got two bombs, four marines coming in! Angry army, hold! Crush the resistance. What? I didn't see anything. I barely saw anything. What the fuck? Ground combat is like unfinished. What the fuck? You just took our planet. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't get this fleet back over there. The only thing I can do is just decimate. This is their home world. So we're gonna at least decimate their home world. 70 to my 90. What is this? Attack the colony. Drop all the bombs! They've got five population for local militia. they got seven marines, 12 structures. Just drop it. Drop it all. Ha! I'm going to continue to bombard the shit out of you. First, I'm going to blow up your fucking laboratories. Okay. I successfully defended my planet. However, uh, for some reason... Cat lady here won't take out. She's got five destroyers in orbit, but her five destroyers only equal ten attack rating. Got no damn marines, so she's not taking over nor bombarding them, as far as I can tell. Or maybe she's bombarding them every turn. I don't know. But she needs to basically fucking nail, put that final nail in the coffin, so we don't have to deal with him anymore. Um, damn man. 
But those those bugs, dude, I let them let them hang around and they they beat me up. But ultimately, I did have fun. And I think that uh, right now, uh, Master of Orion, in its release form, it, it, it seems a little bit underdeveloped. I think it needed a little bit more time. But I've seen the developers post that they're going to add a, a bunch more updates to it. So um, at that time, hopefully the game gets better. There's a lot of good stuff about it. I love the space monsters. I love the, uh, you know, basically the initial uh, phase of the game. Um, it's basically a simple 4x. It's very been very simplified from a lot of other ones So if you're looking for a 4x to begin with this is a good one I appreciate the production quality on some of the voice actors and the race interactions And honestly in terms of diplomacy, it was pretty intelligent But I need the AI to be a little more aggressive on very hard. I wonder what it'd be like on extreme um, Yeah, there's it, it needs a little bit more to it but for 30 bucks, I'd say it's a pretty good deal. I mean, it's not a $60 game. They're only asking half of what they normally ask. Um, and for that, it seems all right. All right. I'm going to get some rest. And then hopefully maybe tomorrow I could kick some ass and uh, maybe try out the multiplayer. Because this is my impressions on, on the single player. Okay, guys. Well, I'll see you on the next Angry Joe show. I want to thank all y'all for spending your night with me and hanging out. Um, I don't even know what time it is. Oh, it's, it's 3 in the morning. Okay. All right. Good night, guys. Thank you. Okay. All right. Bye, guys.